Myself from English, Bina Guasai. Hi, my name is Mohamed Khairu Al-Kifi Bin Rosli. Hi, I'm Dragon. Hi, my name is Samiru Ashraf Bin Zainuddin. Hi, my name is Mohamed Fidelis Bin Salim. So, today we're going to carry out two experiments which relates to the concept of diffusion. The first experiment is about diffusion of iron solution in starch solution. And the second, solution, the second experiment is about the diffusion of water through the membrane of egg. Let's check it out. Assalamualaikum everyone. Hi, I am Muhammad Filos bin Salim. I am going to proceed to the next demonstration of diffusion. Iodine and plastic bag diffusion. Uh, this is the iodine solution and this is the uh, starch solution. Procedure. Uh, uh, we are going to need this plastic bag which act as semi-permeable membranes. Uh, okay, firstly we need to transfer the starch solution into this plastic bag. <coughs> While transferring the starch solution, we need to be careful because we do not want to have the starch solution present at the at the surface of this plastic bag, which is which it will ruin the the, the demonstration while we are uh, uh, dip the this plastic bag into the iodine solution. Hence, this is the solution that have been transferred into the plastic bag. Next, we need to dip this plastic bag into the iodine solution. Uh, we will wait uh, half an hour to see the result. Hi everyone, my name is Ahmad Sukhani in Ambulkan. So the observation that we can make after half an hour is the the solution in the back turn purplish blue black. This is because the iodine molecule which is small enough to diffuse into the back turns the starch solution into this other. But the starch solution is too large to diffuse out of the bag. So the iodine solution in the beaker remains yellow. Explanation Iodine is used to test for the presence of starch. Iodine molecules are small enough to pass through the membrane of the plastic bag. However, starch and water molecules are too big to pass through the membrane. The movement of the iodine through the plastic membrane is functionally the same as the movement of the molecules through the biological membranes, that is, any cell membrane. The molecules will move from higher concentration to a lower concentration. Osmosis is the net movement of solvent molecules, in this case iodine, through a partially permeable membrane, like plastic bag, into a region of higher solute water concentration, in order to equalize the solute concentrations on the two sides. Hi, so this is our last experiment. We're going to use eggs to show the concept of diffusion using hypotonic and hypotonic solution. The first part in this experiment, we use two eggs and vinegar. Firstly, we put the eggs in the glass and then we pour the vinegar inside the glass. Okay. After this, uh, we wait for approximately about two days to make the eggshell completely dissolve in this vinegar. Actually, the eggshell 
is calcium carbonate uh, while the vinegar is acetic acid by combining these two material uh, the reaction will occur and then the eggshell will be dissolved completely which is after the reaction will produce carbon dioxide water and calcium acetate so this is what the eggs look like after approximately two days as you can see the eggshells has uh, been dissolved so then we can proceed to the next step okay, so these are the eggs which uh, the, sh the shell has been completely removed so here and now uh, the so now it's only the semi permeable membrane uh, outside we're going to wait the egg so we label this as egg A so the weight of uh, egg A is 72.39 gram This is 8B. This is 8B. 8B. The weight of 8B is 78.05 gram. Okay. This is the glass A which contain water solution. And the glass B that contain sucrose. For the glass A, uh, we can assume it as hypotonic, and the glass B is hypertonic. Okay, firstly, I will put both eggs on the glass and in the glass simultaneously. And the result, we can see it after a few hours. Hi, my name is Jürgen. Next, we're going to proceed it to the result. Well, there is two because which A and B because in A is hypotonic solution where else because in B is hypotonic solution the weight of the egg in because A should increase theoretically where else the egg in because B should decrease theoretically this situation occurs because because in A contains water which is hypotonic solution diffused into the egg where else in beaker B it is opposite reaction where else the, the con it contains sugar water sugar water inside the egg the water inside the egg diffuses out to the hypertonic solution next we will wait the egg This is the egg from beaker A.
the weight shows 85.4 gram. Next, we will weight Pika B. Next, we will proceed to egg which contains in Bika B. The weight shows 77.8 gram. As a conclusion, the experiment, this experiment is a success. This is because the weight in the beginning of egg in beaker A increases where else the egg in beaker B decreases so it is theoretically proven so it is a success for this experiment so thank you for watching hope you guys like it bye